Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this second moving vlog. By the time you guys are seeing this, the first vlog should already be out, my first moving vlog. So I'll have that link down below if you guys haven't seen that already. But if you have, then you would know that I'm in my new place down in California. I just moved from Washington. It's been such a crazy two weeks and we really try to unpack so many things. So I'll show you guys a little update of what everything looks like. We actually did so much the last two days. I have a little pile right there that I want to show you guys of like some random home decor stuff, some like skincare Sephora things that I've been waiting to unbox you guys a little haul. So I'm super excited to do that later. And then right now we're gonna grab some lunch um, at In-N-Out, which I'm so excited for. I have not had In-N-Out in a couple months since I think October when I came to um, Northern California to look at the apartments. Charlie's right here. She's doing so well and she's actually adjusting super well. The car ride for her down was not that bad, but she was whining a little bit, but we took really good care of her and she's really adjusting really well to this apartment. So I'm really happy about that. You hear her walking around, that's her making a bunch of noises. But anyways, yeah, as you guys can see, I just got ready. I have my little Terry headband still on because I haven't done my hair yet. I just need to brush it out. I'm not doing anything. My hair is so long. I was supposed to get a haircut when I went down to SoCal because this is lady that I've been getting a haircut with like for forever, but it just didn't work out, the timing of everything. So my hair is still super long. I definitely need to find a place up here that I like and get a haircut. My hair is at that stage where it's just so awkwardly long. It has no volume. It just looks a little drab in my opinion. I just need a nice fresh cut for the new year. Yeah, I'm actually gonna finish getting ready right now. And we are gonna also head to Target after. My camera's dying, so I need to charge it. But we're gonna in and out, and I'm gonna go to Target. I literally have the longest list in the entire world of things I need to buy for the apartment, like random house things. Quick before I leave, I wanna show you guys my bathroom situation. I love these little like pull-out drawers so much. These two were from my old apartment. This is hair, and this is like random skincare stuff. I want to find more of these and organize it better. As you guys can see, I have a lot of like flat, like little containers like this. I just got some PR from Pharmacy, which I am so excited about. I've been testing out their products. But as you guys can see, I have a lot of like flat containers that I need one of these that are like bigger, if that makes sense. That's definitely one of the things that I want to do at Target is find some like acrylic container storage stuff. So yeah, this is the before. So we'll see what it looks like after, if we can get a little bit more organized. Target. We just got here. We just had some lunch. I am at the PJ section seeing if there's any cute PJs but after I think we're going to the home decor section but I love looking at Target PJs. Stars Above brand is my favorite. Like these are my absolute favorite. These ones. I don't have the gray color. I have the dark blue and then I have the black. I was also wanting a robe too. Maybe not this style robe. Oh, this is just like a long like set, but. Oh, these are the ones that I like right here. The short sleeve ones for summer. Ooh, I like this light gray one a lot. Yeah, but if you guys haven't tried these, these are so good. They're only $21.99 and they're the softest things. And they're so comparable to the Victoria's Secret ones. I'm in the soap little bath area right now. I want to get two matching soap pumps for our sinks. And I want something that kind of has like matte black inside. I'm kind of leaning towards these, but they're kind of big. I don't know. I kind of wanted something. If this was like a little skinnier, like maybe this one, then that would for sure be a contender. But I love marble, but I'm not really a fan of this silver. Ooh, this is super cute for like perfume and stuff. I kind of love this tray. That'd be really cute for like perfume and stuff. Kind of like that. Kind of gives me grandma vibes and I'm kind of here for it. This is also really cute, but I don't like how it's kind of see-through because sometimes our soaps are like different colors. I don't know. Tell me what you guys think down below of which one is your favorite soap pump. This one's really nice too. It's a three-piece bathroom set. And then also we need to get a shower curtain because as you guys saw we have a bathtub now so we need a shower curtain and there's so many options okay guys i am back from target we were literally in there for like two hours because we had so many things on our list to get 
but I want to do a huge, huge Target haul right now for you guys. I have like essentials and like some boring stuff, but there are some fun stuff in here. And I think tomorrow I'll continue on this vlog. I'll show you guys the things that I was talking about earlier. First off, we got two um, hand towels. They're by the brand Threshold. I love Threshold. These are so soft and such good quality. So I wanted to get some new hand towels for the bathroom so got one right here and then another one right here literally so soft and i wanted to go with white this time and then next thing um this is a lot of bath stuff new bath mat this is the spa plush bath mat also from threshold this is what it looks like super super nice super soft quality i was having a really hard time finding which bath mat i wanted there were so many options but i ended up with this one i also wanted white our last one was like a tan gray color and the next thing another bathroom thing is a shower curtain so as you guys saw there was a lot of choices the aisle i was in originally i did not find anything i liked but then i went to the hearth and hand magnolia section they have some shower curtains and i really like this one so this is what it looks like it's kind of like textured if you guys can see so hopefully i like it this is what the photo looks like and last in this bag we just got some clorox um toilet bowl cleaner boring stuff so how to get this so that's the first target bag and then let's move on to this bag also some cleaning supplies had to pick up some mrs meyers clean day this one is in the peony scent we needed wipes of course so we got two of these fresh scent disinfecting wipes always got to have wipes on hand then as you guys saw earlier before i left i showed you guys my bathroom situation where i have like all my skincare and stuff i needed some more acrylic ones so there's some more in another bag i believe got two of these stackable well, i'm not going to stack them but you can stack them if you want from the brand bright room and they're the medium square organizer acrylic so this is what i was talking about where i wanted to put like flat skincare items from like moisturizers eye creams and i'll do that with you guys later oh and then the soap pumps i did not really like any of them i really like that tan one but i just thought it was too big so i think i'm gonna like check out cb2 or maybe another target we got some new kitchen towels also by threshold they're this like nice gray color super super thick I thought our kitchen i don't know if you guys can tell is a little bit more like darker toned in this apartment so i thought these gray ones would look really good and they're such good quality these were only like six dollars which i feel like is such a steal so highly recommend these threshold ones and they had so many type of colors and designs and then we got some shower hooks for the shower curtain and then this is one of the other acrylic ones also got a little dog bowl it's so cute there's the word snack on there but i'm obviously going to use it for her food it looks tiny but we have a really tiny dog and she really doesn't eat that much i think it's like the perfect size for her i like how it's shallow so she doesn't have to like dig her head into like a really deep bowl my dog is really old she's like 13 years old so i want to make it easier for her and then we got some q-tips along with the whole shower thing we also had to get a shower liner of course got a sponge caddy the ones that you put inside the sink this is like a matte black one i thought it would go really well with the kitchen and i also want to show you guys these two new kitchen gadgets that i got i got this ninja blender which my parents got for us which is so sweet and i've been needing a new like smoothie blender the one i was using previously was the nutribullet one and honestly near the very end i really did not like it it was like breaking down and just wasn't that good i'm a really big fan of ninja so yeah i'm so excited to use that and try it out and i like how it's like the ones with like a stand at the end it's not like the, like the twisty ones so i'm super excited for that and right here we have a air fryer this is by the brand kasori so the story with the air fryer is i had the old kasori one but it was recalled if you know you know it was a whole thing. A lot of the Kasori air fryers were recalled and I couldn't use it anymore. After that was recalled, it took so long for a new replacement to get to me. So in the meantime, I had to buy a new air fryer. So I was using a Ninja one for a long time. Hence why I like Ninja because that air fryer was really good. Finally, Kasori sent me a new one and I just never opened it because I obviously bought a new Ninja one at my last place and I was just storing this brand new Kasori one that's safer and they like redid everything so i was just keeping that for like a rainy day so i think right now i'm gonna put everything away organize everything i'll show you guys how i organize these bathroom things in a little while i think we're gonna eat some dinner right now okay guys this is what i have so far for organizing so i still have the same one with all my hair products right here i added this one and i added this flat one 
medium like square one right here and then I have some of my skincare stuff right here I have like moisturizers I have two eye creams this new product from pharmacy that I'm really excited to try it's called the honey glow surfacing serum I'm really excited to try this I haven't used it yet but I want to try this out cleansing balm right here so just like flat products and I decided to just leave these creams right here on the side from Sol de Janeiro the same one right here and this one I'm still working on but it's like some leftover products like this tower 28 spray and then I just have like my makeup wipes here I'm like headband things right here this tiny one that I showed you guys earlier has clips some slip hair ties like tweezers and then right here in the middle I still don't know I might get one of these for this middle part but for now I just keep my hairbrush and these cotton rounds right here and then my hairbrush right here so i think that's pretty good for now i think it's pretty like organized i know where everything is it's like hair and then basically skincare everywhere so i'm liking how it's turning out i definitely needed like a acrylic little container right here because all these products are just like loose and flowing around i like how it's just like one big open space and i really like it it's like a self-close moment so yeah, I think I really like how it turned out. Good morning. It is the next day. I'm continuing with this vlog and I want to show you guys some of the things that I've been collecting over the last like month so i got a lot of these things during like black friday and like end of the year holiday sales and i just never opened any of them as soon as i got it in the mail in my last apartment i basically just like peeked in made sure it was the right thing and that it wasn't broken or anything and i just packed it straight up so i just thought there would be no point to put it out in my new apartment or use it when i was going to be moving just a couple weeks so I've had this little pile in the corner for a very long time and I want to show you guys a cute little haul of things that I got. I honestly don't remember everything that I got, but I'm just going to start off with this. I know what this is. It's really heavy. This is a candle from Anthropology and it's in their Capri Blue scent. It smells so good. I love this big candle and it's also matte black, which I feel like goes along with the colors and scheme of the apartment. So I love it. It's so big. I'm um, take the sticker off, but love it so much. I think Anthropology was having a 20% off sale in store and online um, during Black Friday. So that's when I picked this up. I got that. And then next up, we're going to go through some random things. First off, I have this Necessaire body lotion. If you guys have been watching me for a while. You know how much I love this body lotion so much from Necessaire. This is probably like my third or fourth bottle. It does last me quite a bit of time, but I'm always repurchasing it. It's just such a good lotion and... It's also fragrance-free. I love having an option of fragrance-free lotions in my bathroom. So this is just such a good one. I highly recommend it. Next up, we're gonna go through these two things. I'm so excited for these two. These are Mason Margiela replica fragrances and a candle to match. So this one is called On a Date. Let's open it up together. This one is the perfume. Yeah, this is the perfume. First of all, I just love replica packaging. This is my first one by them and I'm so excited. So this is what it looks like. It's so, so pretty. So excited to add this to my perfume collection. So this is called On A Date and it says Province 2014. The fragrance description is Grapes and Roses. And the style description is memory in a fragrance. Let me know what other replica scents you guys like. I definitely want to try more. And then to go along with the same thing, it came with a matching candle, which is so exciting. This is the candle. So cute. I think I'm going to put this in my bathroom and burn it. And afterwards, when it's done burning, I'm going to clean it. And I kind of want to put cotton rounds in it. Next up, we have this random thing right here. This is from the Starbucks Reserve in Seattle. And... I am so excited to use this for coffee in the morning. It is a little espresso shot. So right here has the reserve logo right here. And then behind it says C for Seattle. And it's just a little like memory token that we wanted to get before we left. So yeah, you just pour your espresso shot in here. Okay, I have three boxes left. I believe these are all from Anthropology. Anthropology is like my new favorite store. This is called a match. I don't know how to pronounce it. C-L-O-C-H-E. It's like a little match container and you can also use it to light a match. Okay, after layers and layers of wrapping, 
This is what it looks like. It has a bunch of matches in there and on the back it has this little strip where you can light your match and it's just the cutest little thing ever. This is what it looks like. I think I want to put it on our TV console area and I just think it looks like so modern and so cute. It's also obviously functional too. I think it's so cute. It has this really cute cork at the bottom. That's where you pull it out and then you can grab a match. And I think there's like maybe 16 here. And you can obviously just refill with your own matches. I love that. Okay, next up, we have another box right here. I know what this is. I can feel it. I'm so excited about this. This thing is a cottage berry basket, I believe that's what it's called. It's just like a little bowl. It has little like ridges right here and some holes at the bottom so the water can seep out when you're washing your berries. Last but not least, from Anthropology, I picked up this S mug. This is their bistro style mug, I believe. It's so popular i've seen everyone have it i actually got my cousin this for christmas because i was so excited to use it and i thought she would really enjoy it so it just says s on it for sabrina and it's like a bistro style like mosaic mug and it's just so cute and i'm so excited to put coffee in it and it's like really nice quality super heavy that is my little haul of random things that i have been waiting to show you guys i have a couple of errands to run right now and i will update you guys later just got a little pick me up of pete's coffee this is an iced white chocolate mocha i think i've only had pete's coffee like one or two times in the past but it looks really good just got a tiny little one Really, really good. A little pick me up. It's been a couple of hours. You saw I just ran some errands and I went to the mall to grab oop, to grab a couple of things. Here, I'm gonna put the camera a little further away. But yeah, I wanna give you guys a haul. I also went to Trader Joe's. This is the first Trader Joe's haul in the kitchen for this new apartment. So I'm so excited to show you guys what we got. So first from the mall, I stopped by the Nespresso source. I always, always buy the Bianco Doppio. These are my absolute favorite. They just double espresso shots and filled and got two of them. Lastly, I went to Lush. I got this one, which these are always super messy, but I'll show you guys real quick. I showed you guys a little bit of clips at Lush, I believe. Got this one, it's white and it has little rose petals in it. It smells like roses. It smells really good. I also got this one. This one, I think, has glitter in it. I think it's called the Twilight Bomb. It has little, like, stars and moons and, like, constellation things on it. it smells really good. It's a little glittery, so hopefully it doesn't get too much everywhere. I'm going to speed through what I got at Trader Joe's real quick. First off, you already know, the organic soy beverage from Trader Joe's. Got a little can of corn. Got some roasted garlic marinara sauce. Bread, sourdough bread, my favorite. Bananas, these are huge bananas. I don't know if you guys can see the size of them. Wow, these are literally huge. I got six of them. And I got two Greek yogurts. This one's blueberry and this one is strawberry vanilla. Sounds so good. Two Power Crunch bars. Ketchup, of course, had to stock up the fridge. There's literally nothing in the fridge right now. Got some little baby Dutch yellow potatoes. I got a avocado oil spray, always good to have on hand. This one I'm so, so excited for. This one is the salmon rub seasoning blend. What it looks like, I'm so excited. We eat a lot of salmon in this household. And this is like a little seasoning rub just made for salmon. I'm sure you can use it on other things as well. Let's see what's in here. Brown sugar, smoked paprika, kosher salt, black pepper, and dried thyme. I think I'm going to make salmon tomorrow night, which is going to be our first home-cooked meal in this apartment. I'll update you guys on my Instagram stories. I like this or not. And this is the last bag. Oh, this one's also super heavy. Um, strawberries right here. Of course, non-dairy oat creamer, necessity. This looks super good. It's mini mint ice cream little sandwiches. That looked good. Now we have some greens. Got some edamame. I think I'm gonna make this with the salmon tomorrow. Got some broccoli. We have some avocado chicken breast tenders right here. Then we have some turkey breast for sandwiches. 
some ground chicken that I'm going to use for some spaghetti next week. And last but not least, some iconic Trader Joe's hash browns. I need to put all this away right now. It's like so crazy on this counter. Thank you guys so much for watching this moving vlog. I really hope you guys are liking these vlogs. I'll give you guys a little update on what the apartment is looking like. I think next vlog, I'm going to continue on with these moving vlogs. I'm still getting settled in. I just ordered a rug. I'll show you guys what that looks like when it comes. And just maybe go to Crate and Barrel or Container Store in the next vlog together. So I'm super excited, but definitely subscribe if you haven't already. And follow me on Instagram. It's always down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video.